This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. We're going to take a look at a trigonometry problem. Uh, and this specific problem is uh, concerning a tree. And what we want to do is figure out what is the height of the tree. Now, being the sophisticated people we are, we're not just going to climb up to the top of the tree and hang down a tape measure. What we're going to do is we're going to step back a distance from the tree. And uh, let's say we step back 75 feet from the tree and we measure the angle from the bottom of the tree to the top of the tree, which we could use a device to do that. And let's say we measure a 40 degree angle. So with that information, what we're going to do is determine what the height of this tree is. So uh, first of all, you have to know that the height is always measured as a perpendicular to the ground, hence the right angle. Okay, so if we've got a right angle, then we've got a right triangle. If we've got a right triangle, we could do right triangle trig. So this is good news. So the first thing we have to do is determine what trig function we need to use. Now, we already know that this is tangent, but let me explain why this is tangent. So if we have an angle, and uh, I've got this 40 degree angle here to the left. So if this angle is 40 degrees, we know that opposite it is the height. All right, so keep that in mind. So we're dealing with the opposite side of the triangle. And, well, we're not dealing with the hypotenuse. That's this longest side. So this must be the adjacent side. So if we're dealing with the opposite side and the adjacent side, the side next to the angle is the adjacent side. Well, let's see, opposite and adjacent. If you remember your Soka Toa, opposite adjacent for Toa is, of course, tangent. All right, so we're going to use the tangent function. All right, so over here on the right side, I'm going to start to set up the uh, mathematics to this. All right, now that we know that this is a tangent problem, I'm going to take the tangent of the angle and set up the ratio. Well, the ratio is opposite. That's our height. And our adjacent side, which is 75 feet. All right, so now that we have this set up and we're going to solve for h, well, I'm going to form a ratio here on the left side. So if I've got two ratios each equal to each other, which is a proportion, we cross multiply. So h times 1 is h. 75 times the tangent of 40 is 75 times the tangent of 40. Not much I could do with that, except, of course, plug that into a calculator. And that's what I'm going to do, plug all that into a calculator. So what is that? Well, well, actually, I should put approximately equal to because I have to chop off the decimal somewhere. All right, so if I round this to the nearest tenth, it turns out to be 62.9. My units are in feet, so this is going to be in feet also. Okay, so there you go. Now I know the height of this uh, tree using the sophisticated method called trigonometry is almost 63 feet high, which is the power of trigonometry. All right, so make sure you check out our other videos on trig functions and our other videos on a myriad of other topics. Uh, we also have interactive quizzes and text lessons. Take care.